Hi guys, I am here with your Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. We have a two-day Bible reading today. We'll be reading Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 through the end. And then we'll be reading chapter 3 to verse 6. We'll be reading in the New International Version if you'd like to follow along. We'll be reading Psalms 129 and 130. And then we have our Proverbs for both days. Prayer request right off the bat is a very important prayer request. Please ask prayer at your church and with everybody you know as well. The prayer request is for Deborah Niddle, Debbie Niddle. Um, she went to her doctor the other day and her doctor put her on a medicine and it interacted with another medicine which her doctor and or pharmacy both should have known about but it interacted with another medicine she was on and put her in a coma and they hadn't had no luck bringing her out of it the hospital and they tried to bring her out of it again the other day and she was able to say a few words but then she went right back into the coma again so they transferred her to another hospital, which I believe is Riverside right now. And last I heard was just the other day that she is still in a coma. My cousin's wife is Debbie's daughter. So please keep her in your prayers and her family. because she really needs them. So... Sherm, are you going to follow along? Alright. Alright guys, so let's begin. To the church in Ephesus, to the angel of the church in Ephesus write, these are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. But you have this in your favor. You hate the practices of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. To the church in Simra. To the church, to the angel of the church in Simra, write These are the words of him who is the first and the last, who died and came to life again. I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. I know about the slander of those who say they are Jews and are not but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you, and you will suffer persecution for ten days. Be faithful, even to the point of death, and I will give you life as your victor's crown. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. 
the one who is victorious will not be hurt at all by the second death. To the church in Pergamum, to the angel of the church in Pergamum write, These are the words of him who has the sharp double-edged sword. I know where you live, where Satan has his throne. Yet you remain true to my name. You did not renounce your faith in me, not even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness, who was put to death in your city where Satan lives. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you. There are some among you who hold to the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak, to entice the Israelites to sin so that they ate food, sacrificed to idols, and committed sexual immorality. Likewise, you also have those who hold to the teaching of the Nicolaitans. Repent, therefore, otherwise I will soon come to you and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who is victorious, I will give some of the hidden manna. I will also give that person a white stone with a new name written on it, known only to the one who receives it. To the church in Thyatira. To the angel of the church in Thyatira write, These are the words of the Son of God, whose eyes are like blazing fire, and whose feet are like burnished bronze. I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet. By her teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling, so I will cast her on a bed of suffering and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely unless they repent of her ways. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds, and I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Now I say to the rest of you in Thyatira, to you who do not hold to her teaching, and have not learned Satan's so-called deep secrets. I will not impose any other burden on you except to hold on to what you have until I come. To the one who is victorious and does my will to the end, I will give authority over the nations. That one will rule them with an iron scepter and will dash them to pieces like pottery just as I have received authority from my Father. I will also give that one the morning star. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the church in Sardis. To the angel of the church in Sardis write, These are the words of him who holds the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your deeds. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up. Strengthen what remains and is about to die. For I have found your deeds unfinished in the sight of my God. Remember, therefore, what you have received and heard. Hold it fast and repent. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what time I will come to you. Yet you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. 
They will walk with me dressed in white, for they are worthy. The one who is victorious will, like them, be dressed in white. I will never bolt, I will never blot out the name of the person from the book of life but will acknowledge that name before my Father and his angels. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And that is where we're going to stop with the book of Revelation today. And now we're going to start our Psalms. Our psalm for yesterday, Psalm 129, a song of ascents. They have greatly oppressed me from my youth. Let Israel say, they have greatly oppressed me from my youth, but they have not gained the victory over me. Plowmen have plowed my back and made their furrows long. But the Lord is righteous. He has cut me free from the cords of the wicked. May all who hate Zion be turned back in shame. May they be like grass on the roof, which withers before it can grow. A reaper cannot fill his hands with it, nor one who gathers fill his arms. May those who pass by not say to them, the blessing of the Lord be on you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. And that was Psalm 129. And today's Psalm is Psalm 130, a song of ascents. Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who would stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can with reverence serve you. I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. I wait for the Lord, more than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. He himself will redeem Israel from all their sins. And that was today's psalm. That was Psalm 130. And now we're going to do our Proverbs for yesterday and today. And that will be Proverbs chapter 29, verses 19 through 22. That's all of them for both days. Servants cannot be corrected by mere words. Though they understand, they will not respond. Do you see someone who speaks in haste? There is more hope for a fool than for them. A servant pampered from youth will turn out to be insolent. An angry person stirs up conflict, and a hot-tempered person commits many sins. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading for yesterday and today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.